Hello, uh... They made a second Trackmania game for the DS. And we played that one. This is the first one. Let's go solo and... Do whatever. Because, you know, we have to show off what's in here. My first impressions are identical to the last one. Hmm. Ooh. It's not as... Both of these games run at a fluid, like, 60 FPS on a native hardware. On emulator, they tend to drop a few frames. As you can see, we're quite a bit shit. Let's try to get at least silver. So you have to kind of angle it like that. Hey, we're technically first, although... But for some reason, we always end up hitting that over there, and then... Strange. Hey, at least uh, we got silver. Eh? I'll be honest with you. For something that's similar to the N64, just less crippled with, like... You know... Kind of a shitty design. It's not bad. I mean, it's a DS game. And to be fair, there's a lot of terrible DS games. I, I guess the DS and Wii had a lot of hits, a lot of weird games, and a lot of shovelware. Nothing else. Uh, the fun in Trackmania comes from just how fast, you know, the tracks are. You're done with them so quickly that, uh... If they do what games like Rayman do, like Origins and Legends specifically, where they can afford to be hard, especially in the last levels, because it's just try it until you make it. Hmm, let's get the next race. And in this one, you can, like, you can see it's 20 seconds for the record, so... If you want to get gold, you're going to want to, like, retry. Because, like, retrying 60 times, you've spent, what, 20 minutes for 60 attempts? And that doesn't even count if you, like, reset midway. Well, I'm only getting silvers this time, I guess. Uh, but if we go to change track... Ah... Uh, we need to buy it at the track shop. Ah, of course. So, in order to actually progress, you need to go to a shop, to tracks, and you actually have to buy them. Uh, yeah. That's gonna be interesting. So far, we only have the practice category, so we wanna do, for instance, desert. And, uh... This is the desert game mode, apparently. Hmm. Oh my. Alright, as you can clearly see, these vehicles handle very differently. And steer really sharply. Hmm. Let's continue onwards. But yeah, Andy, the controls here... You need to get used to them, but man, these cars... You can see how the controls are so touchy. Fuck. Okay, oh. we're in. <laughs> To be fair, this 3D engine may need a bit of work done. Mm -hmm. There definitely is a bit of a lack of polish that can be seen, but... You know what? I find it more than excusable. Except, you know, the glitchy physics. Because... Okay. I don't know how that counted. Because, you know, some of the graphics, you know, having popping and whatever, that's fine. But just, you know, physics glitching in a game that's all about physics... You just can't have that, okay? 
Hmm. I do wonder if anybody has tried speedrunning these yet. In no. Okay. I would assume as well that, uh, like, because the game has an internal timer, an emulator removing lag shouldn't really have an impact. Or, I guess, adding lag in these cases, because, um... Yeah, because if it's an in-game timer, then it doesn't matter if you, you know, run the game faster. Because um, then the time is going to be faster. So you would theoretically have the best, you know, benefits from... Ooh, that's a bit of... That's an interesting glitch. Uh, you would probably then have, you know, have people playing the game with slowdown. And that happened on PC, so... It's, you know, it's not... The issue of cheating isn't that, you know, it's an easier time for you. It's that, you know, you're taking away somebody else's rightful win. Somebody else's reward. And it, it can be scummy when it's, you know, just people doing it for cloud or whatever. But it's, like, especially shitty if it's, uh... Hmm, that was close. It's especially shitty if it's, you know, a cash prize, but... What a... Let's finally unlock... Uh, A5? And let me guess... Yeah, we can't unlock that, so... Uh, let's now do Stadium 5. What's good? What is this track? Ooh. Yeah, the issue with low resolutions... Oh, but, uh... In a game like Trackmania, boosting the resolution would help a lot in just... seeing what's coming up. Hmm. Gee, it's so weird how I slow down there. Shit. Oh well. How much? Oh yeah, let's go and rally now, and let's do rally A1. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, this one has some- ooh! That is the touchiest steering known to mankind. Uh, y you're controlling it with a- You know... Oh god. I want to get silver, but uh, that ain't happening, apparently. Because... These cars just don't control. Oh, did I get it? I did. Okay, next race. Maybe the... I was gonna say maybe they steal less in the mud, but uh... They don't. And if you're wondering, you have to just pass all the checkpoints before the race completes. Wow. I... I'm... Have we unlocked? Yes, we have. So let's do practice, desert, and then desert A5. And I wanna... I just wanna do the practice ones for this video. Because... I have a feeling that me showcasing off this game to its full extent may only be shown if I play through all five of these starting tracks. I guess 15. Oh! I do have to say, Jackmania Turbo, from memory at least, it has physics that are a lot better. They don't suck nearly as much, is what I'm saying. Uh... 
Yeah, good. Oh, come on. Really? Well, let's continue doing rally stuff. We now need to do A3. If only the checkpoint extended a bit further down. Okay. Fuck. Okay, we need to go down the middle. And boom. Hey, finally. Will this track be equally as painful? Hope not. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Spaghetti -os. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wait, really? That was the end, and then it. Yeah, I have a feeling. So, yeah, I have a feeling Trackmania Turbo may have improved the handling model significantly. Or j just the physics engine, I guess. Here's the thing, though. Uh, so, we have what? Yeah. So, we now need to unlock... Wait, no, that's Quick Race. Uh oh. This is it gonna give us one of the. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Go to the shop. Can we buy anything? Not yet. But if you let off the accelerator. Okay. So, yeah, we can go onto tracks. And by Rally A5. Yeah, that that cost me more than just all of the places I had. This is like something British. Maybe French. Jack Point is the uh, French would most like. Yeah, see how he just went through the floor? Okay, there we are. So, uh, after we go through that, there's Puzzle. Now, as it says here, create and save one stadium would... Well, you'll see that in a moment. First, we have Platform. So, what are Platform stages? Well... Uh... Not exactly sure. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure what they are is they're just... Difficulty tracks. There's no timer. So, I would presume... The game may just want us to, uh... uh head through this. And live. Okay. Hmm, that's... Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, go now. Should be enough speed. It wasn't. And we've retried once. Well, we have a target of zero retries. Ah! Ooh! Oh. I don't know how that works. Yeah. See, how do you... How do you make that? Okay, we should probably start off, like... There. Come on. Oh, yeah. So yeah, these are, like... Ooh, fuck. Stage is not built around speed, but built around... ...knowing where to go. Ooh. 
for you to, re you know, restart this section by going back. Stop. Okay, we need to not crash into those things in the middle. Because, you know, here they're easily avoidable. But there... Yeah. How big is this jump? No. Yeah. You know, fuck it. We, we're just gonna see how one of these levels is. Ah, okay. So we have best... Okay, that's still silver. Okay. So we need to go editor... Let's... Okay, let's create a rally stage. Actually, a stadium stage set at sunset. Uh... Okay, so... That's intriguing. Uh, we can just move it somewhere. I'm assuming that's the maximum amount of data one of these maps can hold. And we can save that. Okay, I need to validate a challenge. Okay. So we should race through this. Okay, that is the validation thing. Okay. Okay, we can hit 600 speed, and there we go. And, uh, we can now save it. New slot. Stadium. That's good. So, let's return to the main menu now. Go solo. We have now unlocked puzzle. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, that's really interesting. So if you can't tell what we're supposed to do, we're just supposed to figure out the fastest possible way to get from, you know, A to B. Which, probably not that, but. So we're trying to hit a target of seven seconds and, oh wow. So those are the puzzles. Uh, quick race, it just picks a random track. And custom are the stages we've made. Editor, we've seen multiplayer is multiplayer. Shop-wise, you can buy a bunch of different skins. Uh, we, we can go through from 7 to uh, 16. Okay. Same here. So, are 1 through 6 already unlocked? Yeah, block-wise, again, it's exactly what you think it is. You can unlock different things, you know, slope traps. These slow you up. They slow you down, you know, that sort of stuff. A lot of, a lot of fun stuff for tracks. And stuff, of course, for all the different themes. The, you know, castles, parts, and such. Although I'm worried save data may be a bit of a limitation. And track-wise, as you've seen before, you just unlock tracks. Profile-wise, you know, you have your name, which you can change. Your vehicles, which, you know, you can see the high-res models in action and uh yeah we only have 16 sorry we only have yeah from the 16 vehicles we already have six unlocked statistics are our little statistics and you can switch a profile as well but that's about it that's trackmania ds uh, uh turbo is better it's also made after this one with all the knowledge they gained from this game putting in and they uh, put it it's made with all the knowledge from this game and well that one's clearly better and this one's still fun but yeah i definitely would have enjoyed this back in the day it's just that now you know it's a ds game yeah anyhow i'll see you when we find some other video games Bye-bye.